I come from a Hindu background where I was a devout Hindu. I used to go to temple and uh, worship idols. At that point, I, I thought they were gods, but basically they were. Now that I know the true God, they were idols to me. Um, having uh, coming from a Hindu background and um, being disowned by my family, uh, which led me to drugs and alcohol. When things are going wrong in your life, a lot of times, a lot of us try and escape through drinking and through smoking and through different types of drugs to escape what we don't want to face uh, that we're facing. And, you know, where, whatever you're going through. Uh, and uh, drugs is a way of escape. So I, I, for a few years, I, I was on drugs and alcohol. I, I was in debt, over $80,000 in debt because of the habit that I have. And I came to a point where I wanted to commit suicide. And uh, it was around Christmas time and nobody was around. And I, I just wanted to die at that point. So I took a whole different types of drugs, uh, pills, as well as uh, I had a bottle of panchan, uh, which is uh, like 100% proof uh, rum. Um, and I just wanted to die at that point. So as I was uh, laying down there and I just wanted to die, um, there was a bright light that came into my, uh, the living room I was in. And when I felt that white light come into the living room, it was like I was instantly sober. Even though I had, I had all these drugs in my system, but I was sober, it was like nothing. I, I didn't I have nothing. So next thing you know, I had a, a, the phone rings and a friend of mine uh, calls me and says that uh, for me not to do anything. So I said the Holy Spirit asked him to call. And I just started laughing at him because I, I, I didn't understand the Holy Spirit at that point. I, I didn't even know who the Holy Spirit was. So when he, when he said that, I, I, I didn't understand. And then he called my other friend to, so we did a conference call. And then he asked me, my other friend to stay on the line while I came and uh, he came and picked me up. And as he came to pick me up, when I felt that light, it was like I was, I was cradled in a father's arms. It was like, uh, I've never felt that kind of love. It was like a pure agape love of God. It was, I've never felt anything like that since. And the only time I believe that I'm going to feel some, uh, that kind of love is when we go to heaven together, all of us. But at that point, it was like, I felt like I was a little baby in a, in a father's arms, and I've never felt like that. So, anyways, he came and picked me up, and we he took me to his house because the the anointing of God was so strong uh, because of the the actual vision that I had. I, I didn't see Christ, but I knew it was Christ because when I learned about the Holy Spirit, I knew it wasn't any Hindu gods, it wasn't Krishna, it wasn't Buddha, it wasn't any of the Hindu gods. I knew it was the Son of God, that was Jesus Christ. I knew it was Him because I know about the Holy Spirit now. When I went to his house, the, the family welcomed me, and it was like I was home. It, it, I've never felt that kind of uh, love from people like it was it was that pure love and from that point on I, I served in a church for over 10 years in the same church that I was with um, it was uh, North York Victory Church in uh, in Toronto I served there I started as an usher and um, you know I was interested I was a DJ back home in England and I wanted to I was interested in sound, so I, I moved to the sound department and I, I ran the sound for the church. And that's when uh, the vision of Juan started. Uh, that's when I started Music in the Square to bring together the artists. And, and now God is using me with Voices of the Nations.
So I thank you for taking this time to listen to my testimony. I love you all. I pray that God will bless you in everything that you do. And everyone that is going through something, know that all things will work together for good in the end. Amen.